like this vitality comp is so weird though i i don't know what they can do to really like bring it all together especially when they ban so many mid laners themselves do they have some sort of special they're gonna go to ah. the block okay so we saw melito bring in this out last week it's definitely a comfort pick for him but okay it's just the comp is just a little bit all over the place i feel because like you have a strong two versus two in the bot lane and it is strong you can get prior uh, remember when we saw uh an Ezreal Leona play into it as well and upset and Hillisang just got to lane first they got into the brush and they were able to get this push so I think that the fact that they have so much control should have given self made the opportunity to set up for an invade he chose not to do oh, it oh but they're going for the solo oh, kill the no. immediate flash out the TFT emote that is not good for Vitality. That is not good at all. Whippo, ah, he had a rough week well, last. Selfman has just been power farming through his own. He hasn't right. even reset yet. They're going to... Wait. Okay. Moving in. Chains. Niski. No cleanse. Spear's going to land. Nice. Big damage. Now coming in. Skeens has a fall. But the flash out to safety. Meanwhile, Selfman in the bottom lane. Not getting a whole lot done. Is going to use all but comp. No defensive tools available. He's not going to activate the E here. Maybe a bit of a misclick. Is now they're pulling back in. LeBron flashing out to safety to heal the damage. Just barely is living. No! Hillisang going to take it in the end. I won't say it was clean, but at the end of the day, Fnatic gets the kill. Yeah, they certainly do. And I, I want to think, yeah, he survives, but he's losing two camps. He's already down a level. Things are going to go from bad to worse. This is Niski trading even if with Melitza so far, but Hillsang coming into the mid lane as well. And this is the Fnatic show right now, Vettius, because there's the TP we talked about earlier. Whippo now on the way in. Comp still level five. Bit anticlimactic. A bit anticlimactic. Yeah, he did pop the ult. He was looking for the dive, but oh, no. Oh, no. Here comes the rest of Fnatic. They still want to commit to this. The boys are here. The boys are here. They are, they're just going to funnel all this gold into upset. Yes, they are. And very generous of Whippo to basically say, ah, I'll give up my lane advantage to snowball you, or he'll eat this entire wave, and then I think it'll feel perfect. Can we have a quick look at top wave observers? Let's have a quick look at what, um, yeah, that's perfect. All right, so that wave is definitely going to be lost to the tower, but you can see the amount of time. I want to see, yes, Renekton's going to reset. He's probably going to get back in time to catch some of it, but... Most of it will be lofted, as you rightly said. He was able to catch that wave at the very least. The CS gap is going to close, but Whippo should still feel happy because the gold advantage gained for Upset is going to be pretty significant as the flash comes through. Big stun, LeBron still just level 5, going to try to move through, but misses the Zenith Blade. Skeenon's on the way in, but will not connect on the spear, and Fnatic winning out across the board. 2k gold lead, 8 minutes into the game. And Fettius, we want to know what version of Fnatic we are going to see this week, and this is one that we have not seen yet, because this is absolute dominance. Yeah, the pairing up of Hillisang and Selfmade just dominating in the early game. And then, of course, the, the solo. Big way. Upset and have also played fantastically, but kind of have just been doing their jobs in the lane, yeah. whereas you've got this duo of Selfmade and Hillisang or roaming. Whippo getting that solo kill on the he top. He hasn't one. gone mid. Instead, everyone's been playing for him. They have been trying to enable Selfmade as much as possible in the early game, and look at what that is resulting in. Yep, it's past that point now. He no longer just needs to power farm his CC's coming in. The Bob CC there from Hillisang, too, as he pops the bond. Sagenda. Running for his life, and Whippo going to grab that kill there. So, again, the lead further snowballing. Is LeBron going to try to just get a little bit of vision back in exchange? Not a good trade overall. Look at this. They, they know that Drake is spawning, but they don't care about it. Instead, they're going to funnel as many plates as possible you know, into self-made, right? This Olaf is just going to continue to snowball. Of course, the Renekton's going to get some gold as well, but this is a, a more than worthwhile trade for Fnatic. And, and I just really want to highlight again how, like, Fnatic's playstyle is optimal for what the meta currently is, which is funneling resources into your jungler, the roaming support style that helps cover Fnatic. And look, Hillisang is helping his mid push out that wave right now. It's not self-made. Now we're seeing so many more teams here in Europe successfully do that. Uh, and, like, we saw it from Rogue. We're seeing it now from Fnatic. And uh, to me, this is super exciting because I think it's really hard to do, but if you do it well, it can be very effective. Yeah, that said, what Hillisang is doing here is unclear. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Giving hope to Vitality. Now remember that if someone hits the pink ward, you do not have to fight them to the death, despite any appearances otherwise. Please, so he's like, please take all that bot side river. He was saying, gonna go in. Not questionably though, there's really no punish. They didn't contest them at all. They really just, I mean, I, I admit the Fnatic did just reset. Well, oh, there we go, big damage. Comp gets oh, one shot, my god. Oh, and the shockwave to follow up. LeBron now gonna be in trouble, but Sagenda comes in, he's trying to turn it, maybe that's gonna be enough. Big damage though, self made to the backside. That's the beneficiary of so much gold, but the chains have been attached. He's still unstoppable. Gore Drinker is still a little bit too strong, and <laughs> Melitza has to run for the hills. It's gonna take three dashes for him to get out to safety. Had to use the flash as well. And they're to get themselves the great. Vettius, it looked really good until the two champions who got hit by that Gnar ultimate had Gore Drinker and Sterix <laughs> before 20 minutes. And then 
Reality hit and reality hit hard. Now, yep. still able to find opportunities. Hill Slang, of course, going down again. Is Bubba's run for the hills? Maybe Sajinda can get some more damage here. Bubba's actually going to be in trouble. He should drop I here. TP coming in. Yeah. That's one. Skeens is here as well. This could be a massive turn because that's the Ori. That's the follow up. That's the knock. But no matter how strong the Olaf is, Niski isn't. And that's going to be big money onto Skeens. Okay. All right. Vitality. They're able to find the a ever so controversial <laughs> debate between Nara and Renekton. Being resolved in front of our eyes. The poke mage is getting absolutely blasted by the assassin here. It <laughs> does a ton of damage. Meanwhile, in the fight, mid lane, we've got a fight. If we go full screen on the bigger fight here, as Melita gets run down, that's gonna be one. That's gonna be two. The dash over the wall, but he still gets shot. Meanwhile, Whippo going to absolute town, trying to dash through. Sagenda on the run because self made is just about unkillable. Skeens now has to run for the hills as well. The axe lands. There's a dissonance there to speed him up if he needs it. That's the double kill for the Oriana and a little bit of vengeance there for Oh Nisky. my god, self made's even standing over his corpse and just emoting him. Fnatic got themselves an ace at 22 minutes into the game. This has been an absolute slaughter and a definitely much needed sight for many Fnatic fans after it was a rough week one. They have come into week it two. It is, all things considered, relatively early in the game. So Fnatic have to be really willing to, to dive or split the map to find greater advantages or catch LeBlanc. Uh, as he's going to dash out to safety, pulled back immediately by the ultimate. Now maybe the fall from Sagenda, though. He needs to stack this rage if he wants to keep this going. But with the Olaf ult down this early, maybe they can turn. That's the Steric. Score Drinker trying to heal up just a little bit more. The rest of the team now moving in. Hillisang fishing for the stun. Melitza still running. Ball going in, but that's upset on the backside with Blippo there as well. A massive flank. Meganar, the knockback, though. Maybe, just maybe Sagenda can live. The dash forward with the stride maker. The knockout to safety, canceling the stun from Hillisang. He's holding on, but still bad news for Vitality. Wow. Fnatic really showcasing the number of assassins that they have on this team as they all just ditch. With the Baron buff running out in about a minute's time, they should be able to, at the very least, knock on the doors of these inhibitor towers. Make it rain, Fnatic. Make it rain. Vitality. Holding on as best they can. Lebrov, I think, mostly just trying to kill the creeps here, knowing he's not really going to have a chance to kill the champions. Another, like, two and a half minutes before they can end the game. It's, uh, yeah, it's... It's a difficult situation for Vitality to be in, and like it also showcases how influential the draft can be. And when you give some of these people some of these power picks, how dominant they can be on it, and self-made showcasing as well how great his Olaf is. 406 been involved in 10 of the 14 kills, but we could be in some trouble now, though. Or He's is that up. whole who's trapped in with who sort of situation? You know, he'd be coming in. Niski, of course, has the Banshees. Which is going to block that Leona, which is massive, but that's only going to be one connected. Now we got to keep our eyes on the Olaf raid boss. Can they take him down? Oh, they're not ready for the mythic raid, baby. Comp backing off. Sagenda now trying to chase. Maybe, just maybe they can down self but here comes Hilsing. Maybe he can get to the gun. No, the shutdown is massive, but now upset coming in. Going to get the Gale Force to come out and finish off that kill. Malik has to run for the hills. Sagenda as well, praying he can turn mini as fast as humanly possible for that extra little bit of movement speed. But Fnatic still, despite everything, exactly despite the same, you know? Top jungle synergy, trying to come in yeah. clutch. self made now, one versus three. Also has the Gargoyle Stone play now, which is also going to offer another amazingly large Ooh, shield. But that said, healing not reduction. Worth. That is not worth, good sir. That is a 45 second death time with the Baron spawning in 30 seconds. Vitality, significantly more money. Now they're hard to kill because they've spent that significantly large amount of money on stats that make them very difficult to kill. Oh, and that's bad timing for Sagenda. Has to leap out of safety. Whippo immediately in the midst of the entire team. The CC, the follow-up. Now, self-made running through the entire lineup. Lebob has been taken down. Melitza keeping the chains on, but not going to be able to stop him. The flash forward from Hillisang getting the follow-up there on the mount up and the double kill for Upset in the end. Skeens and Sagenda got to run because Upset is very strong. The flash forward, the W, going to get the opportunity to go in there. Huh. All right. <laughs> well, at least it looked cool. Ghost gold in there for Sagenda. Probably wasn't going to have another opportunity to use it, so might as well throw out the stopwatch then. And Fnatic, going to go for a Are they looking to end? End? self made saying they can end. The rest of no. Fnatic is saying, no, we can't. We don't have enough of a minion wave. And uh, it's just a matter of time now for Fnatic. Yes, it is. It felt like it was a matter of time at minute 15, and it is most certainly even more so now with Infernal Soul. And the Baron as well. And credit to uh, Vitality for punishing, I think. Really? Oh, oh hold on. Let's see how this fight works out. Whippo in the midst of an entire team. Niski's still in the area as well. Schemes goes golden. Maybe they can get something done. But here comes Comp on the backside trying to finish off Whippo. Overall, though, Niski, Sagenda now coming in. They're shutting down a few of these Baron buffs. Infer Infernal Soul's still going to be a problem, but they've uh, 
Gonna deny at least a little bit of time from this Baron. Maybe Fnatic get over aggressive here. All I'm gonna say is if I was self-made, I would be pinging the Mejais in Niski's inventory right now. Uh -huh. And I would be saying, that's not very gold efficient, is it, Niski? <laughs> Wholesome team environment as LeBron <laughs> almost gets one shot, and the follow-up back is going to be there as we get a little bit of emo PM before self made Oh, Zai is backing bush. in the bush, oh, by the way. No. Okay, they're going to try to find the stun. The side step and ult from Whippo comes in. Hillisang going to look for the setup. The Whippo Hillisang duo. Legendary hardcore engaged bros. Going to dash in. Not going to find the CC. So Jenna pulling back. They're going to get hit, but not a wave quite yet. Okay, they're gonna and they're holding, folks. <laughs> Walking to the river, you can't. It's against the rules. It literally puts him out. It's like you just can't play. It's not on fire anymore. Yeah, not on fire. However, Zach, that's a little tri <laughs> tricky one. Is he really liquid? Who knows? Uh, 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 Non-Newtonian fluid as Whippo dives into the backside, and LeBron just gonna get absolutely one shot. Hill saying, pulling the rest of the team in. Sagenda sees his opportunity. The three man. He's going back. But Melissa and Skeens are running for the hills. They do not want to sacrifice what little KDA they have left on the back of that NAR play as the thumbs up come out and the Fnatic victory is now assured. It was 99.9%, .9%, but now it is at 100 as Fnatic are gonna end the game soonish. Anytime now, there they go. Fnatic will secure themselves another win. Great start to the week for Fnatic. We already talked about it and how this is definitely what you want to be seeing from this Fnatic squad. A much better performance and just an investment into self-made. I think that it is exactly how you want to play in this meta. Enable your jungler, work with him, set him up for success. And the hilly self-made combo I thought was 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 perfect this game. Yeah, well, and I think let's recap really what mattered.